Hey everyone, welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate any meme. So I wanna thank Rowan on X for showing me this trick. You can check him out at Rowan Chung. So the first thing that we have to do is to find the meme that we want to animate. So in this case, I'm going to go to IMG Flip where you can find a lot of different memes. So let me take this one of Bernie. Okay, so this is the meme that I am going to use, I'm going to animate. So from here, I'm just going to select generate meme. And in a second, I should be able to download this if I right click this and select save image to downloads or save image, you get the idea. So now I just need to go to a site that is going to have stable diffusion video. In this case, I can find it under replicate.com. So this is a great site that will allow you to preview of what this will look like, what it will look like when you animate an image with stable AI. And then you also have the ability to download that as an MP4 file. So to do this, we just have to select the trash can to get rid of the existing photo. And then I have to take the photo of Bernie that I just downloaded and drag it right over here. Here's my photo. I'm just going to drag it right over here. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that there are some different options. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know all of these settings, but a couple that I do recognize is you can see right over here, you can switch between 14 frames or 25 frames. I'll just switch 25 frames, I guess, because bigger, better, right? Uh, these are the things I'm not going to play around with. I'm just going to leave them the way it is, but I will select run. And in a few seconds, you'll see the status of the output right over here to the right. I should have a generated video of Bernie. All right. It looks like this is finished. You can see this first frame doesn't look great, but if I play it, there we go. Bernie is now walking, which I think looks kind of cool. There's a little bit of distortion on his face and the lettering. Now, what I can do if I want is I can scroll down and play with some of those settings at the bottom if I'd like. For this one, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it how it is. And I can select download. And this will allow me to download an MP4 file. It kind of looks a little like this. Now let's go ahead and try one more since we have a little bit of time. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to take Drake and I'm going to select generate meme. This will download into my downloads folder. When I do save image to downloads, kind of like that. Okay, so now let me go back to stability.ai. I'm just going to hit refresh. Let me clear this test image out. I'm going to add my new file, which is Drake. <laughs> Here we go. Now again, those settings you can play around with. I guess I'll just leave everything the way it is by default. And I'm going to select run. If I can find it right here. Uh, let's see, run. Okay, and here is the result. You can see it did kind of animate both of them at the same time. You can see at the bottom, Drake is kind of moving just a little bit. Top is kind of still, so not the best one. But of course, if I wanted to, I could then play around with this, maybe switch it to 25 frames per second, change some of those other settings to see if that makes any kind of difference. Okay, so here is the new one. It gives you an idea. It doesn't quite work as well as I would like it to, but it is kind of cool. So again, this is just one way that you can take any meme or really any photo, upload it to stability.ai, and then give it a little bit of motion and animate it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this content, it would be awesome if you could subscribe.